Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today in this video, we're gonna react to Noah Lyles tells the truth behind his famous world champions of what? clip shannon sharp's gonna interview him and i'm curious to see what noah lyles has to say the nba hates noah lyles so i want to see if he has a good excuse good reason for saying that or is he just gonna dig himself into a deeper hole so we'll see together for more content like this make sure to like this video and let's hop right into this thing no i think you got a lot of pushback you run the world championship last year and unprompted pushback. you mm -hmm. said you see these hats and they have world champions on it which we've always called the basketball players. We've always called the NBA, the, uh, the NFL, the Super Bowl champ. We've always called MLB. <clears throat> we've always called them world champs. What? And I, I think that's where a lot of the blowbacks, because it seems like one of America's best athletes were taking another was taking a shot at some of the America's best mm -hmm. athletes. And I think it kind of put you under the eye because then, you know, basketball players said what they said. Some football yeah. players chimed in also. Yeah. And then for the first time, I actually saw some of these athletes like openly rooting against you. I mean, you might this not. I mean, something you would probably never see in another country. You're not going to see uh, the Dutch, somebody from Dutch, rooting against Femke or rooting against uh, 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 Karsten, uh, mm -hmm. uh, he's from Norway, or Inger Britson. We're not going to see that. Do you think you brought some of this on yourself with that he gonna say no, but um, I will tell you before we even start. Comment down below. Do you think Noah Lyles what he said? Do you think that made sense? If you don't know what he said, he said that why are the NBA champion and the NFL champion seen as world champions when they're not going against the entire world? They're just going against everybody in America. Um, while he, you know, he's going against people all across the world, you know, and I'm pretty sure he feels some type of way because he's not getting the same glory that they do. But uh, you pick track and field, and I mean, you now you saying both. <laughs> but uh, well, tell me, comment, comment down below what y'all think about that. But let, let's hear what he has to say. Comment, or what were you hoping to accomplish by making that comment? I, I think the last question that you asked, what was I trying to accomplish by making the comment is the most important one. Yes. Okay. Everybody sees the clip. Everybody sees the thumbnail. Everybody sees okay. the 16 seconds. 16 but seconds. But did anybody decide to ask, what was the question that he that was asked to me? Did y'all? Does he have a point? What was the question that was asked to him? Let's see. The question right. that was asked to me is how do you feel knowing that when you go back to your own country, unlike these other countries that celebrate their athletes on such a humongous stage, when Taboho won his gold medal, he went back to a stadium filled with 30,000 people celebrating him. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, man. When I showed up back home on my flight, of course, some people recognized me, and I'm very thankful for that. But there was there mm -hmm. was no 30,000 people. There was no mm -hmm. limo driver ready to take me home. There, there, there was no bus waiting. If I, I had my mom, I had my pops, and they were ready to take me home, and I was ready to go to bed. But there was none of that. <laughs> <laughs> there was none right. of that. Noah, there's a flaw. There's a problem with your argument. Noah, that person, I, I'm not gonna say his name. I, I'm, I know that's the first gold medal that country has ever had. And if it's not, it's one of the top three. It's America, everyone, a lot of people got gold. I'm telling you, like a, a lot of the track and team field got gold. So I'm, I don't, you, did you expect 30,000 people to wait for you? Like, no, you are, now, if you winning gold, you're gonna be acclaimed. You're you're a gold medalist. Like, don't be jealous, bro. Jealousy isn't good. Don't be. Don't have no envy. You are a world class athlete. These guys in the NBA and NFL are also world class athletes. I'm hearing envy, and that's not a good reason to be throwing shots at people who are in your country. I'm just saying. I don't know if y'all agree, but that don't sound good so far. But we'll keep going. And, but that, right, that, right. That, but, the, the 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 difference. It, I, I can understand the difference because we have a different way in America of seeing our sports. The problem that I had was you were okay. given the title of a world champion to people who weren't facing the world. That's where mm -hmm. I drew the line National and said champion, that's hurtful Boston because Celtics. you already have those, but you're given the title to people who good. aren't doing that. Nothing wrong with being a national champion. But let me ask you this. They are great champions. It, they just didn't have the title. Is is Nikola Jokic one of the best players in the world? I'm gonna be honest, I don't know who that is. <laughs> 
again? Excuse me? What do you say? I make sure. Maybe I'm. Maybe I, maybe I misheard that. Let's go. Through. Is is Nikola Jokic one of the best players in the world? I'm gonna be honest. I don't know who that is. <laughs> All right. Tell you, man, when you make arguments about stuff, bro, you can't be you. Th- this is where it really hurts for him. When he made that comment, the Denver Nuggets won the championship. Nikola Jokic was the MVP of the finals. So I don't know, like, did you you make that comment just out of nowhere? The Denver Nuggets were the world champions when you made that comment. That make you sound foolish, though. I'm not going to lie to you. It make you sound foolish. And I'm, I don't think you a foolish person, but it make you sound foolish if you don't know literally a three time MVP and a person who's won a championship, one of the top 20 NBA players of all time. That's tough. It kind of hurts your argument, but we're going to keep going. We're going to keep it rolling. He laughing it off, and that's cool. We're going to keep it pushing. Let's see how Shannon digs in. <laughs> okay. Luka, Luka Doncic. Ah, oh, I've heard of it. Is he not one of the – okay. Giannis Antetokounmpo. I heard of it. Yeah, he's, okay. What, what's the question? Are they good? They're great. They're great players. Great players. But they're world players. They're not from America. And the, the problem that you're going to run into, Noah, Noah, is that Botswana doesn't have Speak a whole game. lot of ath- ha- athletes to celebrate as opposed to Americans. Oh, check if you them. look at no, probably Kenya <laughs> and Ethiopia and, 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 and Sudan and some of these other countries, the Dutch, the Nor- Norwegians, mm-hmm. we got NBA, we got MLB, we got football, mm-hmm. we got baseball. And so, yeah, teams, they have parades. Nobody is getting, for the most part, even Michael Phelps, I don't know if they did they have how many people showed up at M and I don't know if Michael Phelps won eight goals. I don't know if he had 30,000 show up. I know they might have had a big contingent cheering him mm-hmm. on. I just think that the difference is, Noah, is that in a sport in a in a in a country like Botswana, or you're talking about a country, he's their hero. He's he mm-hmm. he is he is to Botswana, he's LeBron yeah. James. That's what he is to yeah, Botswana. Yeah. I agree. Uh 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 Usain Bolt. What he is to Jamaica, he's 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 their Michael yeah, Jordan. I agree. I agree. And when my, Michael Jordan was in Chicago, they showed out for the parade. Yeah. But but probably when he went back to Wilmington, where he was from, ain't no thirty thousand show up yeah. for it. No, I agree. No, I agree. One hundred percent. So how do you rebuttal Noah? That's what I just said. Uh, how do you rebuttal that? You know, let's hear. I'm, I'm not gonna say nothing. Let's hear. The, the, I'm not expecting. That I'm not expecting the parade. Mm. I'm just showing that the, the difference of how our sport is shown in because the question that was asked mm. again was how does it feel knowing yeah. that when I go back home, it's not what somebody like Taboho is getting when he goes home. Mm-hmm. And again, right. I know what it I know what it is. I know we have, you know, football and basketball, baseball, golf, those are all above my sport. I know mm. that. I'm cool with that. I of course I want to make that better, but I understand that. Again, the only problem I had was you have world champions, but you're giving the title to people who aren't facing the world, and you're giving them the title of world champion. That's the. So Noah, is the 2024 USA men's basketball team are they world champions? I'd ask him that right here. So, hey, is the current USA team are they the world champions? The only thing we're yeah. That's the only thing. I, 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 me personally, Noah, I think if look, your two biggest meets are two biggest are the Olympics and the World Championships, mm-hmm. and enough they don't the the Diamond Leagues. Yeah, I mean if you stream it, you can mm-hmm. see it. It's mm-hmm. not it's not as televised as say football or basketball or baseball, and so it's hard for the Americ for the for the cash for the cash person. Everybody right. has a favorite team. Mm-hmm. Whether, you know, the Cowboys fans, they're all over the place. The Steelers fans, the Packers, whomever. And so it's hard when I only really get a chance to see Noah Lyles maybe, what, three, four times in a four-year span, in a four-year cycle. I agree, 100%. It's something that I've talked to World Athletics, USATF, the Dime Leagues constantly about. I mean, Mm -hmm. you know what the the hardest pill is going to be for us to swallow as a sport? Sprint just came out. It is it's successful around the world. It's successful in the U.S. They're about to come out with another season, and it's going to do great. The hard part is that we as a sport, 
are not ready for the popularity that is going to come. Everybody's going to say, I want to be a track and field fan. I want to follow Fred. I want to follow Noah. I want to mm-hmm. follow Arion. Guess what? We don't even have a place to tell them to go to watch the track. Because it's in every mm-hmm. other different country, a different place. And it's you got to get a VPN and you got to find your own website. You got to go on these back alley places. Dang, sound like a marketing problem, man. Do. I mean, there's nothing really, I, I don't know. They, they're trying to make it more global, I guess. They're trying to make track and field. It's almost like, I feel like it's almost soccer when it's just like not a lot of people in America really care for soccer. So similar like track and field, people care about track and field, and that's the thing to me that carries the Olympics. But I don't know, man. The market isn't, it's harder to follow and be a fan of somebody because it's not a team. You know, they have a shelf life. It's kind of just, it's, it's harder. I'm going to finish it there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap it up there. I mean, he he has a good point in terms of the ending where, like, you know, track and field, trying to market it, trying to, and it's, you know, key thing to marketing and sales is making it easy for people to consume. And if it's harder to consume, then it's going to be very hard for anyone to, for them to actually build up their market share. At the same time, though, the problem was, Noah, is that it seemed that you had some envy and you pissed off people, right? You know, and you kind of, you had the tone with it. The tone came, the, like, condescending arrogant tone and that made the nba hate you and root actively against you nice interview i do like shannon sharp kind of definitely drilled him with the question didn't let him just kind of have some easy interview let him really explain himself so definitely understand i understand noah's part but i do think the nba like the who wins the nba championship would win the championship all across the world and they just did win the world championship so they are world champions now so but hey that's my reaction video If you liked it, make sure to like this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more reaction videos. And if you like my reactions, make sure to check out this video. This is Caleb Williams versus the Cincinnati Bengals. He played really well. This is the second preseason game, and it looks like he's definitely a troop. So, hey, go check it out. Make sure to like that video as well. I'm going to catch you guys on the next video, and I'm out of here. Peace.